Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com and this is part one of the Mac Quick Tip series or episode one for that matter. This is going to be a new series I'm going to be starting for users who are switching over to OS X or are new Mac users. Maybe you just got your new Mac and these are tips that I think you can find helpful. I previously used to be a Windows user a couple years ago, switched over to OS X and there's still tips I find out every day of new keyboard shortcuts, new commands, new useful things that really help me out and I think that can help out new and existing users of OS X. So it's going to be a quick tip series. We'll go over, you know, things that I think that, again, productivity tips, functions, key, keyboard shortcuts, all that sort of stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at the menu bar and how you can clean up your menu bar and kind of customize it and remove certain things that you think are unneeded in your menu bar. Now this is primarily for system functions. So for example, if you've ever had you a menu bar up here and you have a couple stuff uh, cluttering up uh, your desktop or your menu bar, especially if you're on something like a MacBook or MacBook Pro and you don't have a lot of space up there, you can actually hold the command key and then drag any sort of icon that you don't want. So for example, this is the AirPlay uh, mirroring icon. Let's say you don't want the AirPlay icon up there. You just hold command, drag, and let go, and it deletes it off of your menu bar. The same goes for things like Bluetooth, volume, even the date and time. You can easily just remove these things by dragging out and letting go. So if you don't use any of these certain things up here, you can drag them away. Now there's some cases where it's an actual application. You can't do it to third-party apps. Obviously, if you close, if you just close out those applications, they'll go away. Again, just hold that command and just drag out and you can easily delete certain things that you don't want up in the uh, certain uh, menu bar. So again, it won't work for things like Spotlight, notifica or, uh, Notification Center, uh, but for most things it'll work. Now let's say you actually delete something and you want something back. So let's say uh, I delete this volume thing and I want the volume back. Well, you go over your system preferences, find what you deleted. So in this case I deleted the volume icon. I click sound and then there's a button right here at the bottom and this applies for stuff like Bluetooth, date and time, etc. that says show volume in menu bar. Simply tap that and you'll notice the uh, menu bar uh, now has that volume icon reappeared in the top. Again, quick useful tip if you want to remove some things out your menu bar uh, to clean it up a little bit, remove things that you may not use. Maybe you don't really need this volume bar up here if you can just use your command or keyboard shortcuts. Uh, to raise or lower your volume or you don't want your date and time up there or you don't want the Bluetooth indicator Whatever it may be in your case if you really just want to clean that menu bar up. That's a quick tip. Anyways guys. Thanks for watching